Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just standing on the bridge over the river Nisheva in the beautiful Serbian city of Nish. So that's looking one way up the river Nisheva. And you can see the other way. We'll have a look at that in a minute. The city centre's over there. Let's just cross. You may have seen last night, I made a video at exactly this spot, 11 o'clock at night, because I wanted to show you just how lively the city was at night. It was really a, a pleasant surprise. There was people everywhere. And um, it was really lively. And we walked across this bridge into the fort. So that's looking downstream on the river Nietzsche. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go and have a look at the fort. We're going to go and look around, because although we did go into the fort, last night we didn't really have a look around it at all we just went just in to see what it was like really there was a lot of bars inside the fort and it's a good place to go for drinking a few beers in the evening as well as in daytime it's a very interesting historical place to visit so we're going to go in in there now and as soon as we get across the road so it's an ottoman fort you may be able to see up, up there above the door there's some Islamic writing. So this fort dates back to the Ottoman period. So it's going to get across the road now. And um, if you have a look at these, these are very Ottoman and Islamic. So it's hard to show you the writing, but it's up there, the Islamic writing. So we're just going to go in now into the fort. So walking through the main gate now. We're going to go and it, the fort is rather large, so we're not going to be able to see all of it, but we're going to see some of it. Anything I don't cover in this video that I think is worthy of a picture, I'll take some pictures and post them afterwards. So I'm going to do you a bit of a whistle-stop tour now of the fort. So I'm going to start here. This, these are the old Turkish baths where the Volkswagen Beetle is parked. So these would have been Turkish baths. They have these rather amusing road trains that are basically made of tractors that are driving around the fort. They really are quite, you can see it's a tractor dressed up as a road train. They have quite a few of them going around. One of them was even double-decker, believe it or not. Now this building here, this was the old arsenal storage. You can see on the roof the Turkish style tiles. Now all of this area here would have been Turkish baths. We're going to head up up in this direction now and um, see what we can find because it's, it's really it's, it's one of the city's main parks as well as being a fort and it's I'm not sure exactly how big it is but it really is rather large so if you look down there where there's more baths or former baths there's bars now gone from baths to bars so we've come up that way I'm going to keep walking up up here now just up here there's a monument I'm trying to remember whose name it was because when the city of nice was first liberated from the turks there's that monument of milan orbanovic i might not be saying that quite right but that's the monument to milan orbanovic so it was him who helped with liberating the city of Nish from the Turks. So I'm just gonna walk up here now and show you some more. Up here there's some quite spectacular Islamic architecture dating from the Ottoman period when most of the fort was built. There's a bit up here where it mentions about Byzantine ruins. Now unfortunately someone has vandalised the English section of the interpretation board so I can't tell you too much about it because I can't been unable to read it so what we're going to do is we'll have a look because there's some ruins here so we're just coming off the main path now you can see there's a mosque behind us a beautiful little Islamic mosque well mosques are obviously Islamic I mean um, built Islamic architecture built from the Ottoman period. So these are the Byzantine ruins. What we're going to do, we'll walk around here. You can see, apologies about the wind if you can't hear me. It's not too bad. I forgot to bring my microphone with me. So you can see the mosque over there and the ruins in front of us. It's, a, it's quite a wide area, this park, and it's 
very pleasant. There's a lot, obviously, a lot more ruins in the distance. So I think what I'll have to do is I'll go and take pictures of them later and post them later. So if you look here, now we're by the front of the mosque, that round tower there, I think that's probably the base of a minaret. So you can imagine a minaret going up into the sky. And then this is the mosque itself. Now I think we can probably go and have a look inside. So we're gonna go down and see what we can see. So um, yeah, let's see what we can see. So this is the door of the mosque. Boy, I'm man, it's you, Henry, hello. There's my friend Alex, pretending to be a Serbian. Oh. <laughs> he says he's not. You can see the ceiling of the porch of the mosque. Now let's just have a look. I think we can go inside, I think it's all right. So this is the interior of the mosque. It's not functioning as a mosque anymore. And it has some bits of, um, it's got some pictures. I'm not sure it's quite artwork or, I think it's historic about the Islamic faith possibly. So you're just looking up and see the dome. So yeah, this is, this is the first mosque to be featured on Henry's adventure. So we're now gonna go back out. There's a lot more of the four I wish to show you. So we come out here and we're now going to head towards the old walls of the fort and um, see what we can see. The sun's gone in. So I'm going to put my sun And by the way, this shirt is a Serbian shirt. I got this at the Shargonate Railway on my last visit to Serbia. So if I do any railway stuff, then this is the shirt's wear because there might be, I'm not promising, there might be some railway related videos from Niche coming later, depending on what I can find. But watch this space right now, we're doing the fort. So we're gonna head now in this direction because I want to try and take you up onto the walls of the fort. So there's the mosque over there. I saw somewhere over here, I saw some steps Where did I see? Oh, there we are. I'm going to cut across this bit of grass. We've got those steps over there. What I'm hoping to do is take you along the walls of the fort and we can perhaps look down on some of the baths and also look across the River Nisava and see if we can see any more of the city. So, in Serbia, to me, I think it's a very underrated country. It's got some really beautiful countryside. It's got some lovely, lively cities. I'm just going to jump down here um, it's got some lovely lively cities and it's people don't seem to British people don't tend to come here and I think they're really missing out I think Serbia is a lovely country it's very lovely people up here so now I'm going to try and we're now up on the walls of the fort so I'm going to take you and see if we can get some some interesting views so it's all bars beneath me here and that's the bars I said about which used to be various bars Better be careful, it's a bit, I might trip over, I don't want to trip over and end up falling. It's not like how you'd get a fort in Great Britain. It's just sort of open and everyone can climb about and walk around where they want. It's, it's a bit of a shame about the graffiti, but other than that, I like, I like it. We're going up over now, I think we're going up over one of the gates. That gate over there is the one we came in. So... If you look over there, you can see the roofs of the Turkish baths. We're going to go down these steps. Hear the music. Like I said, it's all bars down there now, which were once baths. And you can see the tower blocks of the city of Nice in the background. So Nice is the third largest city in Serbia. It's not a particularly huge city. It's probably about 200,000 and we're, I don't like to guess how far south of Belgrade, maybe a hundred miles, I might be completely wrong. There's a typical, uh, very lively Serbian street scene down there. And over there is the River Nitsova. And you can just, now it's a good place to get a good view of the domes of the Turkish baths. There's a U-go going along there. 
up the road is Karvilyevats, which is the city where the Yugos were built. They now build Fiat 500s and various other Fiats there. So we're going to go up these steps now, up onto the roof of the fort. Thank you very much. They seem to, they meant some about entertainment, so maybe they'll watch this video. Fun to it. So we're now on the roof of the fort. So you can see that way. That looks up one path. We, we went up there. Oh, that's interesting. We're going to have to look at that in a minute. We went up there. Look, there's that double decker road trade I told you about. I've just seen something else. Let's just have a look over here, over the roofs. Um, so that was over roof, sorry. Over here, you should be able to see. So that's the bridge. See that through there, the bridge we started on, and the River Nitsova. It's hard to see of these huge turrets. If we go over here, you should see the River Nitsova. You see just through there, see the River Nitsova. Now what I've just noticed, this was unplanned, but I've seen these stairs. I've just got to go down and see where they go. So we're here. We've come all the way along over there. Those lads, one of them was the one who shouted something about entertainment. I'm now going to go down here because I don't know where it goes, but it looks interesting. I'm going to go and have a look. So I'm just going to go down these Hello. steps. Hello, Alex. Here's Alex, my friend. He's been following me. It smells a bit of wee down here. Maybe it's not the best idea. I'm guessing it could take us down, but it seems to me it's been more used as a toilet, unfortunately. Um, right, okay. I can see where it goes. I saw that door. That door takes you out down by the bottom, but it's so dirty, it's so rubbish. I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to take you back up onto the roof, but I just want to have a look. It sounds like people use this as a toilet, which is a bit unpleasant, but there you go. So, back up on the roof, looking over the fort, the Nice fort. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There will hopefully be a few more videos coming from Nice. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.